In today's video, I want to show you guys on how you can make a fillable PDF form completely for free online using Google Docs and another tool called PDF Gear and can be done all online without downloading or installing any additional software. All you need is just a desktop computer or your laptop to make this work. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so here I am. I am on a brand new Google Docs document here and I'm just going to make a dummy document like a form uh, again you can use this for permission slips contracts uh you know meeting notices meeting agreements whatever it is that you need that um you could send to other people as a file have them fill it out and send it back to you with all that data stored in that same file right so that's what that's what i mean by a fillable pdf form so let's just for example make a dummy document called a subscriber agreement to jeremy's tutorials right so the funny thing is before i created this video i already kind of plan this out and I asked ChatGPT to come up with a random uh, YouTube engagement agreement to basically stay engaged to my channel, right? This is again, a super dumb uh, and super arbitrary thing, you know, whatever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it. Um, and you can see here, purpose, terms and conditions, uh, educational content on various topics, whatever, yada, 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 right? So I'm going to just uh, delete some of these extra, extra stuff that I don't need get some of this stuff and boom look at this we have a pretty legit form already right thanks to ChatGPT. not really legit but still um now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some of the fields that the user or the person could fill out right so for example i want a name i wanted to see who is filling out this form i want a date of when they are filling out this form i also want for example um other than uh, text fields right we want like I don't know, for example, just check boxes. So I could ask like, what kind of tools do you use? And you could go ahead and, and Google Docs actually on the computer version. We have this checklist option or with the hotkey of control shift nine, I'm just gonna click it um, and it brings up check boxes. So for example, what kind of tools do you use? Well, I use Google Slides, I don't know, Google Docs, uh, Photoshop, uh, let's just say Canva, whatever tools you use, right? Um, and then now, finally, last but not least, we need the signature of the person. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a signature here. Again, I'm just using you know text and underscore. Right? I'm not using anything extra here. Uh, the only thing I did I did use was the check boxes here that you can actually check off uh, on Google Docs. Though when it becomes a PDF, you can't you can no longer check it off. So, uh, but you will. You eventually will. I'll show you guys on how to do that uh, in the form. Right. So we have this awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my local computer. So I'm gonna go to File hit download here and go to PDF. Now when I'm saving this file in my local computer, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it subscriber agreement uh, static, right? It's, you can't interact with it, it's a static document. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And what I mean by static is when you open this on your on your browser, you have the form, you can't fill anything out, right? You can't, you can't click on it, you can't type it, you can't interact with it, even though you could in Google Docs. PDF will not let you do that on the computer. Now, the tool that I'll be using today is called PDF Gear. You can actually access this online on pdfgear.com. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them and I just completely found them online and it's a free tool to use. So why not show you guys, right? So to navigate to the edit PDF section, you wanna go to products up top and hit edit PDF, or you can just type in the website pdfgear.com forward slash edit dash PDF, right? Or uh, hyphen PDF. Um, so now you're presented with this page over here where you can actually upload your PDF file. Um, there's a couple things you can read here um, with a couple features that you can use. You could read stuff about privacy, limitations, whatever. So I'm gonna go up top and hit upload PDF here and click on the static document that we just made earlier from Google Docs and boom, it imports it. It creates it just as how we made it earlier. Now what I can do here is I can actually go ahead and zoom in. You could use the zoom in, zoom out buttons here or just control and mouse uh, scroll, scroll in. And I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the form fields here on the form uh, fields that I've made on Google Docs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click add an, add an edit form fields here on the top right. As soon as I click that, I'm presented with more options here with the text box, password, checkbox, whatever uh, the option is. And you can add it accordingly. But for this one, I'm gonna add a text box. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a text box here. As you can see, text box one has been created. I'm gonna add another text box for the date down here. Text box two has been created. You see how kind of easy it is? Um, I could add, uh, you know, check boxes or radio buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and add, add a check, uh, check box over here. Uh, the reason why that check box doesn't come up is sometimes it kind of bugs and puts it up top. You know, I, I could easily just move this, scroll down and move it down here. <laughs> and it might do that a couple times. It is a little bit annoying. It's, it's a free tool. 
I can't really complain, but I'm going to go ahead and do it one at a time. Now, there's a reason why I'm not copying and pasting. And that reason is because if you copy and paste these checkboxes, when you check one, uh, all the other ones are going to get checked because they're going to have the same ID or like identifier, right? So I'm just doing separate ones right here. And now when I'm done with those, I'm going to go ahead and add a signature uh, box right down here. So now that we have this uh, good, good to go, ready to go, you can actually, before you save it, you can actually uh, configure these boxes, okay? For a free tool, this is actually a really great thing. You can go ahead and change the tooltip, for example, like today's date. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, add a, like a preset value if you want to, which I'm not going to. Um, you can make it read only, you can make it required. Uh, doesn't matter, you can make it as many different uh, variation of this as you want. And you can also change the appearance of this, right? You could change it to, for example, 12 point font. Um, you could add a max length to the text. I'm gonna make it everything consistent and keep everything on a 12 point font. Hit okay here. Uh, you can change the properties here as well for the signature and these boxes as well, which I'm obviously not gonna alter in any way. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit download file here and I'm gonna go change the name to fillable, right? We have a static and we have a fillable. Um, you can, again, rename it, whatever final version, um, you know, ready to send, whatever you want to name it. I'm going to hit save here. And as you can see, I've just saved the file on my computer. I could go ahead and click it, open it and boom. What do you know? You actually have a fillable format here made by Google docs, right? So I could always type a name here. So for example, I could type Jeremy date here. For example, I could do September 16, 2024, which is today. Uh, what kind of tools do you use? You can go ahead and check whichever tools you want. And last but not least, you could add your signature in here. Um, since I am on incognito mode and I'm also not using like Adobe Acrobat or something, it's not letting me add my signature. But for example, just to show you that it works here, I'm on Adobe Acrobat and I could go ahead and click this and it's going to ask me to sign it with my digital ID. Um, obviously, I'm going to blur everything out. I don't want to show you guys and then flash you guys uh, the different IDs that I have, but that's just how it is. And you can go ahead and sign with one of these IDs and you know, that's just how the signature works, like a like a digital signature, right? And I can only imagine the different possibilities, different uses, like, you know, like school permission slips, business permission slips or contracts, uh, whatever the case may be. If you enjoyed this tutorial and this video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.